Here with men's hockey coach Bill Moore. Coach, one more game before the Christmas break. Let's talk a little bit about last week. You had a split with St. Olaf, a 5-2 loss up in Northfield, and then a big 2-1 win here at, uh, at St. Mary's. Talk a little bit about the weekend from a coaching perspective. Well, I think we were a little disappointed at our effort, especially in the first period at Northfield. Um, we got ourselves into a hole down 3-1, and after the first period, it was shots were even the rest of the game. We got it to, um, to a, to a one-goal game. They made it a two-goal game, got an empty netter at the end. But um, it was nice to see that we had the character and the drive to come back and, and play hard and you know, out shooting them in, in the game here at our place, playing well and um, getting the winning goal with you know, four-tenths of a second left was pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's, you, know, you, can't, you can't overemphasize that uh, a 1-1 game with uh, less than a second to go, and Andrew Ketterer gets the game winner. Huge momentum boost for you guys as you head into Friday, but also just uh, getting that first conference win. Absolutely, and uh, I was talking with Nikki Fenner and our athletic director, and we have six teams in our conference right now with three losses. Um, Three are three and three, and three are one and three, and, and the three that are one and three have already had their bye weeks. So um, the conference is ultra competitive. There's going to be a lot of one goal games. There's going to be a lot of weekend splits. And I think we've got to make up somewhere along the line and get a sweep so that we can make up for that week, that game we lost at Hamlin 4 3 here, um, so that we can be back on that road to be in the playoff picture. You step out of conference play on Friday. You take on Marion University out of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Talk a little bit what, about what you know about the Sabres and what uh, can be expected on Friday night. Well, I think you're going to find it being a fast-paced game. They're used to playing on an Olympic rink just like we are, and um, they're top 15 team in the country right now. I think they're 11. I don't remember exactly, but very fast-paced. Um, they get a lot of production out of one line, and we have to combat that line and then and then put some pressure on ourselves. and. The biggest thing we've got to do is we've got to start getting more production out of our forwards, and, and, and they're working hard at it. Sometimes I think they're trying a little too hard and not just relaxing and playing. A uh, special thing that's going on on Friday, you've got the Teddy Bear Toss, second annual Teddy Bear Toss. Can you talk a little bit, explain to people what that's all about? Sure. The Teddy Bear Toss was just a way that we could get involved with the Salvation Army um, to try to get toys for tots and things like that uh, for the Christmas season. People come and they bring a teddy bear with them, either new or gently used. And then after we score our first goal um, Friday night, everybody will rain teddy bears out on the ice and then we'll collect them all and take them down to the Salvation Army to be used for Christmas presents. Kind of a neat thing. It's a neat, uh, a neat gesture on, your, on the team's part in terms of the donation, but it's also a lot of fun for the, for the fans. I know uh, last year when you did it, you had uh, hundreds of teddy bears laying on the ice. It's, uh, it's got to be kind of neat for the players as well. Oh, they love it. And, and I think the players, when, when we score, will go out and help pick the, pick the teddy bears up. And uh, it, is, it makes the atmosphere nice. It also is just a pretty cool thing to do. So um, we're happy to do it. We'll continue to do it for as long as we're playing here, and it just is a good event. 7.30 Friday night against Marion here at the St. Mary's Ice Arena. Good luck. Thank you very much.